Hello, my name is Owen Cooper. I am a sound designer focused on video game audio. And today I want to do a tutorial for FMOD version 2.00.00. This tutorial will cover how to build a pretty simple radio station playback system where each radio station will have a playlist of songs and a playlist of ads that will play intermittently in between several songs. And the user will have the ability to scroll between radio station frequencies with some radio static noise that pops up in between the frequencies to add some realism. And then a master volume for the event that the user can also access in game. In a second video, I'm going to bring this into Unreal and show an example of how you could build a blueprint to access this event and these parameters to make it feel like a radio station playback in a game. Now, I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video that you know how to use FMOD to a basic level. I'm not going to cover installation or how to set it up as a plugin for Unreal or how to build banks or anything like that. If you need to know that, please refer to other videos. All right, so here's basically what we're going to end up with. All right, so I can scroll in between radio stations. So we've just got songs playing in each one right now. But they will play ads occasionally. So. Right, and then we can control the volume as well. So pretty simple, it's just looping on a sustain point here. Um, one more thing to mention is that I have this all going through a chain in the master with an EQ to take off the super highs and the super lows and going through a compressor just to add a consistency to the loudness across all of the tracks because they are from different artists and they have different loudness levels and things. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to make a new 2D event and call it Radio Stations. And so I don't forget, assign that to my master bank here. And I'm going to need four audio tracks. Call each of these just station and number. Station two, station three. And then this last one will just be radio static. OK. So I'm going to add a multi instrument. And here's what was changed for FMOD 2.00.00. Before, if you wanted to put a multi-instrument inside of a multi-instrument, you had to use add event instrument, which would create a nested event. The problem with that was what I was trying to do was make each song play to completion regardless of its length and then move on to another song. With a nested event, you couldn't do that as far as I could tell. And it would be dependent on the timeline length of that nested event. So some songs would finish early and other songs would get cut off. This change now gets around that problem. But there is another problem that I believe is a bug, and I'll cover that in a, in a second here. Anyway, um, so with this new functionality now, I can add a multi-instrument inside. So I'm going to go ahead and call this music and add another multi-instrument and call this ads. I'm going to open up my FMOD bin here, and I've got all these songs that will be featured in the game I'm working on, which is called Infrared, by the way. And I've got my advertisements here. And these are placeholders, placeholder ads, just so I could uh, mess around with making this system. Uh, my good friend Eric Lewis is contributing to original soundtrack music for the game, and he threw these ads together for me. Um, so, and they're they're pretty funny. So it's it's good stuff. So, ideally, what I wanted to do originally was have this go in sequence, so that music would loop three times. Let me set this to loop in asynchronous. So that music would loop three times. So three songs would play shuffled, and then an ad would play shuffled. But unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be working right now. I believe that's a bug. So what I opted to do instead was put this on random and set the play percentage 
Now, as far as I can tell, there's not a manual way to do this, so you have to do this kind of tricky thing here. So I've set music to 50%. Ads is not set, so it's automatically at 50%. So I'm going to copy it, paste it, and now both of these ads events are set at 25%. I'm going to lock that in, remove this second one, unset music, so it's automatically at 75%, and now I'm going to lock it in at 75%. So it's going to be random, so sometimes two ads might play, but it's pretty close to what I originally wanted to do. So 75% of the time music will play, and 25% of the time an ad will play. I'm going to want to set up a sustain point so that the event will continue to loop. And cool. So I've got that event all set up, that radio station. So I'm just going to copy this over as a template for station two and three. And replace the songs. So I've got my songs for radio station two here. And songs for radio station three. Okay, so we've got our three radio stations, and we need a way for the user to scroll between the radio stations in game. So I'm going to create a parameter called radio frequency, and I've just made this go from zero to three for simplicity, because we have three radio stations and we're going to have static in between. So I'm going to throw on my radio static right now. This is just a distorted noise track that I made. Uh, a seamless loop and I already know from trying this before that it's kind of quiet so I'm going to bring it up about 5 dB and what we're going to do is we're going to put volume automation on all of these tracks so we're going to have radio station 1 fade in between oh, come on fade in between 0 and 0.2 and then fade out between 0.8 and 1. And have radio station 2 fade in between 1 and 1.2. And fade out between 1.8 and 2.0. Then do the same thing over here. Have radio station 3 fade in between 2.0 and 2.2 and then fade out between 2.8 and 3.0 I want as these radio stations are fading in and out we want some radio static so between 0.8 and 1.2 is where I'm gonna have radio static come in And between 1.8 and 2.2. And then between 2.8 to 3.0. And from 0, 0.0 to 0 0.2. All right. So let's go ahead and give this a listen. All right, it's working pretty well. Cool. So the next parameter is just going to be radio volume, and this is very straightforward. We're just going to automate the volume on the master track and probably want to bring this down a bit so um, I just found that putting a little bit of padding on either end made it feel a little bit more natural in game so it's going to be going from minus infinity to I'm going to put this at minus 10 because it's kind of loud cool um, 
And while I'm looking at the master track here, I'm just going to add on that effects chain that I was talking about before. So just cutting off anything below 50 hertz and anything above 16 kilohertz. Leaving everything else there. And I'm going to put a compressor. Let's test this out. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You know I ain't going for no sucker shit. You know I ain't high, I ain't ducking shit. You did out of time just to get out of snitch. You finna look shit that off on the bitch. I got a bad bitch. Alright, that's just gonna help. Keep the loudness a little more consistent between the three radio tracks. Yeah. Okay. And that's basically it. So in a second video, I'm going to go over how to build a blueprint in Unreal, an example that um, demonstrates how you could use this event in an Unreal project. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any suggestions about how to approach this in a better way, please let me know in the comments. Um, I am trying to use a system like this in the game, so if you have um, a better way of doing this, then please let me know. I couldn't find anything regarding this type of setup while, while I was looking, which is why I'm making this tutorial. So thank you very much for watching and stick around for the next video and I'll show you how to access this in Unreal.